I've heard that before. Mm. I think last year somebody had them predicted to finish fourth or fifth in the West. Really? Yeah, and somehow they finished the number one seed in huh. the Western Conference. That is bubbleicious. Yeah, they, they, yep. no, no. They finished the number one seed before they got to the bubble. Mm. You remember, Skip? Because mm. after we beat the Clippers on opening night in the bubble, it was null and void. We mm. didn't even care about anything else. Mm. But anyway, look, there are some facts to what this article is saying. I do believe they will monitor LeBron. I don't believe he will play 72 games. I got him somewhere between 58 and 62 ball games. Okay. That's what I got him at. Yeah. Um, but I believe they're better overall because they can score more. And I think with Schroeder being the addition, mm -hmm. they can run the offense. Now, it's going to be <clears throat> as they build, and he'll get better with AD. Mm -hmm. He'll get better playing with LeBron. Um, where I'm going to disagree with him is that Trez can't play with, with LeBron and AD. Because, Skip, you're not going to have to run any plays for him. Trez is runs to the rim. Mm -hmm. He gets second-chance points. A lot of Trez points come. So uh, one of our guys misses. He gets it and puts it back or gets and gets fouled. Mm -hmm. That's where it's points. So it's not like you're running an offense or you're running your offense through Trez. Mm -hmm. But to say, and I believe, you know, they, they might <clears throat> not look as impressive as they did last year. But to a number four seed, mm -hmm. what is the Clippers doing? Personnel-wise, other than they had Ty Lue. The Nuggets, they lost Jeremy Grant and, Terry, and Torrey Craig. Mm. The Rockets, they're you, a mess. You skipped over Serge Ibaka, right? Huh. I'll take Serge Ibaka over Montrez Harrell. But we got Truders also. Mm. You, needed a, you told me you needed a point guard. We did you not told, get a point guard. You told me if y'all got Rondo, it was over. You're mm. going to be the champs, and you were coming up out of the basement. Mm. Well, you got no point guard. Your point guard is the same guy that you had last year, which averaged about... Three more assists than I averaged, mm. and I hadn't had put a, had a basketball in my hand in 30 years. Mm. So with that being said, I do not see them as a four seed. Mm. I still see them as the team to beat in the Western Conference, and Goat James will be as great as ever. And Baby Goat, that's why I'm predicting he'll probably win the MVP mm. because he's going to show them more of the scoring load, especially when Goat James is out. Mm. So 28 for Le uh, AD, 28, 9, and 2. Mm. Okay. So, I want to remind everyone that the architect of this piece, the writer of this piece, is John Hollinger, who is regarded as the ultimate analytical guru mm -hmm. in this league and once worked for the Memphis Grizzlies as the brains of their operation mm -hmm. for a while. Yeah. So, when, he, really do. when he speaks, I listen. Yeah, okay. And he spoke loudly on this, and he made a lot of piercing points here. And his first big point is that the chasm between the top two Laker players and the third best player is vast. The chasm is vast. That was always the case. What mm. was the chasm between last year? Playoff Rondo. No, no, no. But you talk talking about playoff Rondo. Mm. What was that? What about the regular season? Mm. So you can't see that's what everybody always does. That's what the Clippers did. Mm. They're going to go straight to the playoffs. Mm. What about the regular season? The chasm is just as there. Mm. Okay. So he's not real bullish. He loves Schroeder and that, as, as the, the sort of the uh, catalyst of the second unit. That works for him. But he, to quote him, I'm less bullish on the Montrez Harrell signing. It's because he can't play effectively with LeBron and AD. He was a playoff dud for the Clippers because he is a liability on defense. The Clippers were he a playoff duds. He is a rim duds. roller. He is a rim roller. So what were the Clippers? If he can't rim roll with AD. It won't work because it's going to force AD to stand out on the perimeter and say, can I shoot a three out here? Skip. You keep saying Trez was a dud. Mm. What was the Clippers team? Well, he was a dud. He didn't want to be, as, as none of them wanted to really be in the bubble, but he definitely did not want to be in the so bubble. So I wanted to be there. Very late, and you know the rest of the story. So he's, he's saying this year's Lakers, he says, he, he's stressing, I give them a really good chance of repeating, but... I just don't think this team is set up to win a bunch of regular season games. And he makes the point that their point differential last year was the point differential of a team that won four fewer games than they won, right? They won 53, five fewer games, because he had them as 48 and 23 off their point differential, yeah, so, right? So, so, so hold on. He had them winning 53 games last year mm -hmm. in an 82-game schedule. Mm -hmm. They won 53 games in a what kind of schedule? Mm -hmm. And so I'm supposed to take what he says to the bank now? Okay. And then he makes this point. It's a powerful point. LeBron James went all out in the regular season last year and was helped by the break before the bubble. Well, it was the greatest break of his career. He got to revitalize, refresh, heal up, 
for you, for the playoff run he, in the he, bubble. He was the only one, huh? Well, no, but he's the one who was in his 17th year. So let me ask you a question. So if LeBron James gets that break, he doesn't win the finals, then what are they saying? Well, he got the break. No, and no, he no, 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 exactly. But Kawhi got a break. Kawhi had surgery on his knees. Paul George had surgery on his both shoulders. Giannis had just gotten injured. So what did that do for them? Don't try to minimize what Gold James did. 17th year? And you got that break? I it's couldn't like, tell. Thank you, gods. Thank you. So what about the other guys that were mm. injured in the eighth and ninth year? Mm. So he believes that LeBron will load management uh, this year. And LeBron said last year, load management is not my style. LeBron doesn't load manage. He went third person and said, well, this year he thinks that, that Hollister thinks he will load manage all year. Skip. So that's going to hurt some. Skip. Exactly. It hurts the MVP. But mm -hmm. Skip, you're talking about load management in an 82-game season where everything is normal. Nothing is normal now. We're in a pandemic, 72 games, in mm -hmm. a condensed season. Okay. So, of course, he's going to load management in year 18 at 30. Years of so age. here's Hollinger's touche point. He said, yes, the Clippers do the same thing, load managed with the Kawhi, but the Lakers rivals have a much deeper team than the Lakers do. Ah, uh, uh -huh. I couldn't John tell. Hollinger. Really, really. Interesting. Really. Much really, deeper team. Really, really. Uh -huh. the, the Lakers depth, says John Hollinger, the, the pieces just aren't that good. They went all in on an old Gasol. You like that? I told you he's just, he's glacially slow. Skip, he's, everybody said the same thing last year. John Hollinger wrote the same thing mm. last year. The Clippers bench is deeper than the Lakers, mm. and that's not. So I just want to know. At some point in time, he'll be right, and he gets to say, I told you. Mm. But what can we, can we call to the carpet when he's wrong? Sure. Like last year. Mm. He was dead wrong. Mm. The clip, the, the, I don't think he predicted the pandemic last year, because I don't think anybody. So what's he predicting now? Well, he's predicting a shortened and, season with a lot of load management. Okay, then. And that the Clippers are deeper than the Lakers. Why are the Clippers deeper? No Jermichael Green. Mm. Look at the guys that they lost. Wait a second, look at the guys you lost. Rondo, Dwight Howard, Danny Green. Whew. You want to talk about experience? You want to talk about edge? But you told me Danny Green came and go. When I was hyping Danny Green, you was like, okay, just when you least expect it. Okay, but I, I told you, but he will also electrify you when you least expect it. And he went, he played for San Antonio and they won championships. He went to Toronto championship, LA T championship. H -T. He knows how to play. T H T, T, -H -T on TNT. I yes. can't wait for the promos. Hey, what, hey, He's hey, done what? And I know what you've been seeing. You don't know the other guy? Cool. The last game, the last playoff game I saw THT play in, he was an Iowa State Cyclone, and he was playing against Ohio State, which was an 11 seed against his team's 6 seed. He scored a total of two points in that game, and they got Did upset. you see him against the Rockets? Two points. Did you see him against the Rockets in the bubble? Preseason. Okay, what about Kuz? Mm. Tell me, Kuz, if Kuz, if mm. the Kuz that we're seeing right now, yep. is anything like this in the regular season? Mm. We, we peachy. Has he ever been? Yeah, he about to be. Mm. He about to be. Mm. So now we got The cool. Lakers are not as good as they were last year, and they're not Better. going to get the benefit of five months off before a bubble. So, so let me ask you a question. Who in the Western Conference is better than what they were last year? Mm. Who's better? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Denver looks a little better to me. They lost Jeremy Grant. They mm. lost Plumlee. Mm. They lost Torrey Craig, mm. and they're better. Yeah. Really? They're, they're they're good. Did, they're you see good. Jer did you see Jeremy Grant yeah. in the Western Conference Finals? I'm There's not going to sleep on the, the Clippers. I'm not saying they got better, but they sure didn't get any worse. Hey, we, but we got worse. Mm. You got worse. Well, let me ask you a question. Which one of those guys left? Mm. LeBron or AD? Well, if, if there's no bubble, then LeBron actually is going to have to fly to playoff games. You know how hard that is in your 18th season? Skip, we put, we put foots in you. Mm. Remember? You we didn't put any foots in us. Yes, we did. No. Last game, last time we, we played, y'all. We, we put foots we in us. Triple -double. Mm. We got triple-double. We got a triple-double, and you blamed that on Avery Bradley. Mm. Avery Bradley didn't even come to the bubble, mm. and we put foots in you again. Mm. Well, you didn't play us in the bubble. Yes, we did over oh, the day. Okay, it didn't matter. No, 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 no the matter. Clippers didn't even want to be in the bubble. Dude, that ain't my fault. Jared Dudley said that. You should have opted out. Mm. You could have opted they, out. They tried to opt out. We did. We, we mm. put you out. The mm. Nuggets put you out. Mm. That what Yogi, you heard what Yogi said? Everybody mm. keeps saying about, oh, the Clippers did this. What about what the Nuggets did? Mm. Yoke put foot in you. Murray put foot in you. Asterisk. It ain't no asterisk. asterisk. Ain't no asterisk. Mm -hmm. No, no, this, Skip. Don't try to minimize our hard work. I'm minimizing it because you proved <laughs> little to nothing. You're a hater. That's what no, you No, I'm just telling you the Well, truth. the bottom line is the Lakers are going to be good again.
because of the LeBron and the AD effect. But let's three, talk two, about three, baby. the Clippers. Is LA bringing out a different side of Kawhi? We'll explain that next.